Once again, welcome to English Service and New Life Fellowship. How are you doing, my brothers and sisters? Are you doing okay? How about your family? How about your school? Or your parents? Or your businesses? Sons and daughters? Or, you know, whoever is watching this. I hope every one of you are doing well. We've been praying for you. We believe in God to put safety over you and your family as well. So yes, in this season, I will continue to talk about faith. Remember, faith comes from God. And as a Christ follower, we need faith and strong faith every day in our lives. We cannot live this life without faith. We have to have faith and build that faith stronger and stronger. This afternoon, I would like to share on the topic of faith as well. Continue applying faith in your life, right? Even the pandemic is not pandemic, we need faith badly. Point number one today, faith requires steadfast character. In the book of Psalm, chapter 95, verse 7 to 8. For he is our God. Talking about God, he is our God. He is my God. He is your God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion, as in the day of trial. In the wilderness. So, God is my God. God is your God. It's meaning that He is the shepherd, and you and I like a sheep. And this God and this shepherd take good care of His sheep. He take good care of you. He takes good care of me. So the scripture says, so when you hear the voice of the shepherd, when you hear the voice of God, do not allow this heart to be hardened, but let this heart to be softened, receptive to the word of God. And don't allow rebellions to put doubts. I'm not going to believe it. Is it going to be truth? No. Don't allow doubt. Don't allow love rebellions like the people of Israel when they were leaving Egypt, go through the promised land. Along the way, they complained so much. The more they complain, the more they get the spirit of doubt rooted deep in their heart. And later on, they can't believe because that heart is hard. I believe that this word will help me, will help you to soften our heart. When we hear God's voice, allow the voice of God to sink into our heart and produce fruit in our life. In the book of Exodus chapter 14, verse 14 to 16 as well. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord tell Moses, the Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. You will be at peace. 
Maybe now the world around you is not at peace, but God will fight for you. Guarantee that you will be at peace. And the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Crying and praying, asking God. Sometimes in our lives, in our Christian life, we keep praying, pray, pray, pray. We cry out, cry out, cry out, cry out to God. But we did not take the first step. We didn't move. We did not move forward. But is it why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Stop crying. Keep moving. Stop crying. Keep believing and moving forward. But lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. God tell Moses to lift up the rod. What's in your hand? To lift it up. The power that was, was given to Moses is like the power that was given to you and given to me. Lift that power up and speak to it and divide it, the Red Sea. And the Israelites can walk through. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. They did it after Moses obeyed the Lord. I believe the word today is for you and I. The power from heaven was given to you and to me after we believe in the Lord God. Sometimes we pray, but don't just pray without taking the first step. We pray and take the first step. The character need to go along with the word. And another one in the book of Hebrew, chapter 6, verse 11 to 12. We want each of you to show this same diligent to the very end. We want you to show the diligent to the very end. Not just diligent for today, tomorrow, this week and next week. Show it to the very end. So that what you hope for may be fully realized. What you hope for may be fully realized. We do not want you to become lazy, but to imitate those who through faith don't copy from the lazy people, but copy from those that who through faith and patience inherit what has been promised. When they diligent, not lazy, not copying from the lazy people, but copy from the diligent people to the very end. And through faith, learn from the people of faith, then they will receive inheritance by being patient. Patient coming from a good characters as well. We can develop our character. So faith is good, but faith needs to have a good character, a character that be are willing to obey God's word and act upon God's word right away. And point number two today, in faith, faith also requires patience. Before faith, point number one, faith requires steadfast and good character. Point number two, faith requires patience. Do you have patience in your life? Patience is the fruit of the Spirit. I need to grow in my patience as well. Every one of us need to grow in patience as well. But faith requires 
patience as well. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 24 to 25, for in this hope we were saved. Hope to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. We will be saved. Now, hope that is seen is not hope. Hope that is seen in front of you is not hope, but it's not hope. For who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. We don't see it yet, but we wait and wait and wait with patience. You hope for something. You believe God for something. And you don't see it happen yet. You wait patiently. You have faith and also you have patience as well. Hebrews 6, 12. We do not want you to become lazy, you see, but to imitate the two copies, those who through faith and patience, only through faith and patience, inherit what was, what have been promised. Through faith and patience, Inherit what have been promised. God delivered a lot of promises to you and I. The promises is not to perish you, it's to have you, to prosper you, to be with you. But sometimes when you don't see prosper yet, you don't receive the blessing from the Lord yet, you lost patience. Continue to have patience. Continue to have faith and patience. Another book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 36 and 39. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, persevere is like patient also, then the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. Then the will will persevere with patience, and then you will receive that promise. Verse 39, but we do not belong to those who shrink back. We do not belong to those who shrink back. And are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. Be not grow weary, be not grow weaker and weaker and weaker, but make sure you grow stronger and stronger and stronger. Do not string back, you know. So, faith and patience is really important for Christian walk. It's important for you. It's important for me. If you have faith with a good character, if you have faith with a good patience, you're going to receive great things from the Lord God for sure. It's important for us to have patience. You can, you and I can grow in patience as well, right? Point number three, live our lives with purpose, doing the will of God. Live your life. I try to live my life with a purpose, doing the will of God. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 24 to 27, New Living Translation, don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs. In a race, everyone runs. 
but only one person gets the prize. Only one. Everyone run, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. My brothers and sisters, run to win. I try my best to run to win as well. And verse 25, all athletes are disciplined. Everyone, every runner are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. Everyone train themselves so hard. They practice, they discipline every day in order for them to win a prize. And that prize will fade away. But we do it for an eternal prize. We practice, we discipline ourselves to win the prize that lasts eternally. Verse 26, so I run with purpose, Paul said, in every step. He run with purpose, live our life with purpose in every step, in every way that we could do it. I am not just shadow boxing, not punching the air, not shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete. He understand the principle of the athlete, the discipline. So he disciplined himself in the faith as well. You see, my brothers and sisters, we can discipline ourselves in the faith. It's like athlete, they discipline themselves also. Training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. If we're not careful, we can't get to the finish line. We can't get the eternal price at all. It's important that we live our lives with faith and also with a purpose as well. In the book of Hebrew, chapter 10, verse 30, uh, 36, Talk, uh, talking about you need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you need to persevere so that when you've done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. I take the scripture, you know, talk over and over about when we've done the will. When we follow the will of God, when we follow the voice of God, we receive it. We receive it by faith. You will receive it by faith as well. In the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24, not that we lord over your faith, Paul talked to the Corinthians, but we work with you for your joys. We work with you to build you up for joys. Because it is by faith you stand firm. It's by faith you stand firm. Only faith will help you and I to live this life, to stand firm. This life need to have a great purpose. Almost a hundred, almost a hundred years ago, there are people love Cambodian. They go to Cambodia. This one missionary by the name of um, uh, Arthur Hammond. They went to Cambodia in 1923 to do the mission work in Cambodia. Not just do the mission, preaching the gospel and telling people about the Lord and stuff. They 
also translate the Bible. They get to finish the Bible. And we have read, read his Bible until today. It's, a, it's an old translation, 1954. That was the, uh, the translation that he and his team have translated. He have a purpose going to Cambodia to do something to bring blessing from heaven to Cambodia so that you and I hundreds of years, of years later receive the blessing through the work of his hand as well. God have given every one of us a dream and purpose in this life. Do you have a dream? Do you have a purpose in your life? You need faith and good character. You need faith and patience. And you need to do the will of the Father. And you will see your dream will come through. You'll see you will reach the destination that the Lord God has for you. If you're not to have a purpose, if you don't have purpose yet, you need to have one today. I believe that the Lord God can help you and he will walk you through to the finish line. Then you will receive a great prize that lasts forever. My brothers and sisters, this life is hard. But it will come with a wonderful price if you are willing to be patient with a good character, with a great faith. I believe you can do it. With God's help, you can do it. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much, Lord God, for my brothers and sisters. Lord God, that they have placed their trust in you. They have faith in you. Lord God, let this faith grow stronger and stronger and stronger than before. Let God and have everyone start to see the fruit of their faith as well. You need faith with a good character. Let God, is there anything in our characters not right? Let God shape it, make it right. And we need faith with patience as well, Lord God. If you have faith, no patience is not good either, Lord God. And Lord God, help us to be patient so that we can continue to trust in you no matter what happened. Father, I ask that you will reach in your hand to bless your sons and your daughter. Meet the need and heal the brokenhearted. Heal the people that need and, and provide and meet all the need of your people in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord God bless you and your family. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.